think I felt like I probably didn't reach my potential. I think I settled. I think that I was um, probably overlooked just because I did the things that I was supposed to do. And I did good grades, but did I really dig down and give it everything I had? I don't think I did. And as a coach, is that when a student walks into your gym, into your classroom, you owe it to them to expect the very best that they can give you, whatever that might look like. It's that potential that you don't know that's there. She sets the bar so high that sometimes I think her kids probably thought, can I reach that? Is that too much? I'm sure parents thought, that's too hard. She, they can't reach it. But when they reach it, it's amazing. You know, senior year, we got, that's whenever you start realizing what good she's done for you. You know, we've definitely had up and ups and downs. I won't say that it was easy playing for her because she is a coach that pushed you to your limit. But senior year, whenever I was getting recruited to play college volleyball, you know, it was all because of her. And she wouldn't be like, if you don't want to be part of it, get out of here. She'd be like, I don't know, she just somehow encouraged everybody to step up and get it done and do it right. When we came to Fort Sumner, I was offered the head girls volleyball coach and I didn't feel comfortable with that at all. I didn't feel like I had a great knowledge of it. I played volleyball, wasn't my passion. So that first year that I was a head coach, I called area coaches, I ordered tapes, I went to a lot of clinics throughout the years because I, I had to learn the game. But I think that work ethic and that integrity and the things that make her the person she is, that's so much of what I think her success is. Because there's a lot of great people that know, great coaches that know the X's and the O's and know how to know the sport well, but she has something special, something more that I think has given her all this success. She is one person who pays, pays very close attention to the small details in each and every one of us, you know, and she brought out things in each player that they didn't even think they had because she does pay attention to the small things. She's an incredible person and I mean it. She's so humble. And she literally like had little bitty kids and they'd be running around the gym and she would still take time to take all these notes and watch videos and figure out like we need to you know, time our feet two more inches this way, the left one and then the right one, or she, she gives her all in everything she does. Without the students here, without my players, it's, none of it's possible. Without the idea that I am a role model and they believe in what I'm telling them, and that I'm truthful, that I live what I talk about, I think that's important. You just can't say and do all this groundwork and then not live that life that you expect your kids to follow. You know, and I tell them a lot in practice, like, I want you to struggle. I want you to have a hard time because that's when we're really gonna grow. We really learn who we are. When our back's against the wall, what kind of character do we really have? I believe that nobody will ever forget her name and the, per the woman that she is. I think Fort Sumner should be so proud to have a woman with such high standards, such integrity, and I think she's going to leave a legacy with all the young women that she's taught that, you know what, I could do this. Believe in yourself. Fight. Don't ever count yourself out of anything and work hard every single day.